Okay, hey everybody. Um, I am on my way to go to the doctor. Well, the doctor's office. Plenty of doctors in the office, from what I understand. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> what a way to start a video. I'm going to see, I think today, a PA. It's supposed to be a PA. But, who knows? You never know what goes on there. Uh, uh, last time I went, uh, yeah, the last time I went, it she had to, she was an hour late, so, and she had a good reason, and I was understanding, but she didn't say anything, she personally didn't say anything, she didn't even apologize, so, yeah, that's not good for being late, and then rushed me through, it was supposed to be my first uh, visit with her, and she was supposed to do all this stuff from what I understood, um, including I had fasted for blood tests. Nope, that didn't happen either. And, uh, no, she was in too much of a hurry. For whatever reason, just way in too much of a hurry. Until we come back in four weeks. So I made an appointment for four weeks, and then I canceled and, and made it for another, uh, I don't know, maybe, I think it was three additional weeks. And, uh, because she, she made a lame excuse <laughs> for it. That by then I should have a better a balance on it was on my glucose because I um, I did yeah that, that's a that's a good excuse at the same time it's lame but to me and uh, but we'll see how it goes I mean this is my opinion I have been I have been through too many of these doctors nurses uh, um, and PAs in the past two years or so. Because the ones, the ones, the one I saw before, the ones, it was, um, they had two, basically two nurses and a doctor. But earlier on they had more. Anyway, since like 2010 or 2012, 2010 or 2011. Oh, anyway, they, um, they quit during 2020. And the ones, uh, the other ones I had seen for for which which same kind of thing two different women in another practice they had left and uh it just kept continuing like that you would think it's always me <laughs> but it wasn't these like one of them she was a bad pa she, i think she just stepped out of uh university and went straight from uh, high school to university they used to call them traditional age students there's no traditional age anymore um but she she was apparently so she was so full of herself i think she got fired i really do she was really bad i said no thank you and i went back to the other one but i think she was that bad that she got fired the way the young woman was when i called um i said she's still there <laughs> i didn't say it like that but i asked who was who were they were who were the people there working now i was i never got to see the doctor never Never, ever. And I'd make appointments for the doctor. Never got to see the doctor. And, uh, and a lot of people complain on the, the online, you know, make complaints about that too. Anyway, it wasn't just me. It never is, you know. Anyway, she, she, when I called back, like, I don't know how many, many how long later, uh, the one, the nurse that I had switched to before, you know, right before then back to, she retired or got fired <laughs> at a different place. Oh my goodness, it's just been crazy. And then this one, they told me when I called the young woman, she said, she, um, and she said it real prissy, like, it kind of like proud. <laughs> and a proud moment for her. Yeah. Um, she no, she no longer works here. So, okay. but the way she said it, I, I can't do, I can't mimic. But, yeah, it was pretty prissy. Okay, I know it looks like I'm real close to that person in front of me, but no, I just got it zo zoomed in. And, uh, plus the way this, this mount works. Uh, yeah, I'm not used to this mount. But anyway, I realized I could get in this lane and go on this lane too. So, in this direction. Anyway, but, um, so I'm trying, I've been trying since then to find a good, uh, that was last year early last year 
And since I've been trying to find a good for me healthcare provider, and uh, so far I have not been able to find one. Usually they have, you know, I know people love to say, oh, well, it's just bad bedside manner. That is a polite way of putting verbal abuse because that's how I see it. And my degrees are in psychology and sociology and I was a career student over 20 years. I really wanted to know what I know. <laughs> and what I have heard as bad bedside manner is nothing but to me, verbal abuse. That's what it is. You know, when they are insulting, when they're rude, insulting, sarcastic, uh, try, especially those who try to uh, show their superiority when it makes them seem exactly what it often masks is in an inferiority complex. And just, I have seen some lie, heard some lie, just lie, 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 lie. Um, unbelievable stuff, you know, that they do not know better than the, the uh, NIH, nope, <laughs> NIH, nope, they don't know better than them, they don't know better than WHO, but they will lie, 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 <laughs> unbelievable, and like the one that said that American doctors are stupid, and, uh, and she went on, that well, the reason she's in this country is to basically tell people that it's, this does not exist, she was going to, she knows better than the all, like I said, NIH, uh, WHO, she knew better. <laughs> I've seen some crazy crap. But anyway, it was supposed to be storming um, on my way, but it's, it's kind of like cloud cover, but some of it's dark, some of it's not, and I was really worried about that. I even cleaned my windshield. I don't know what it is. I bought this thing new in May, it says you be new in May 20, um, 2019. And last year, 2023, it didn't even have 9,000 miles on it. <laughs> so, yeah, I just hit 15,000. But, uh, because I started doing those for health insurance. I started doing the uh, food delivery thing. Yeah, I, I used that much since like, last year. And the windshield, whatever it is, whenever we bought, and whenever I bought this, got this, had them bought it. This SUV, it had, they must have put some really super duper wax on it and, and somehow waxed the windshield too. And I have never been able to get that gunk, that windshield stuff off of my, uh, off of my windshield. And it, it collects some kind of like, it'll always have some streaks no matter how I scrub it, no matter how what kind of cleaners. I've had on, I've had windshield wiper cleaners, I've fluids, I've just yesterday I got out with soap and uh, it had dishwashing soap on it, on two different towels, scrubbing the stuff, let me tell you, scrubbing it, and there's still a spot where it is, it just doesn't go away, you know, so many different types of windshield wiper fluid, and the, it was weird, it was like when the, when the uh, windshield wipers would work, and would need to work, what am I saying, would work, when I turn them on, uh, like it's pouring down raining or something, it would not wipe clean, it would, it would be hard to see out them, bought new windshield wipers, I don't know how many times, but it does not work right, for nothing, and, and I thought, oh, I gotta have it, had it done, and I got it done right yesterday, nope, nope, not gonna be right. So, okay, I have not come down here but once or twice, maybe, in this direction. Now, to go to the, oop, 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 I've gotta remember that lane turns too. But to go to the uh, doctor itself, this will be my third time. I've been to that area plenty of times, but we shall see. So, I know that you, you're, you're getting to see the, the sunlight. Sky. Boy, where are my words this morning? I, I'm pretty tired. I woke up at like 4 o'clock in the morning and then try to go back to sleep to, to get a little more sleep for my appointment today. And I had maybe 30 minutes, if 30 minutes. So, a 
looking at as far as today's appointment I have you know I was real nervous I have um, uh, panic disorder they, they diagnosed me with that many many decades ago <laughs> many I was gonna say years but decades ago they uh, diagnosed me with it and it was uh, through a um, it was through the state and you know I asked to be diagnosed is this someone that wrote ends all of a sudden yeah I think so come on people get going so I can merge come on oh, don't do it okay thank you anyway um so I you know they they did and he said the, the uh, psychiatrist I asked them to do that the psychiatrist did and diagnosed me with it it was pertaining to um basically what all I was doing back then was being a career student and working part-time so that's basically what <laughs> so and it was a panic disorder it was, I don't even know what year that was how many decades passed but then after that I found out that I um, I started taking a medication so it must have been before let's say 1990 maybe some early 1990s maybe that's when it happened but um I started taking a medication for uh, diabetes and the problem basically went away but I still have some you know and I, after that I knew that what it was where I was experiencing anything would be have been learned behaviors more than anything else or the actual panic that I would had learned that when I'm doing this or doing that sometimes that's when it happened once I faced it and it didn't happen it was like okay nope that's not gonna happen anymore and it wouldn't. So, yeah. Okay. Now you let me over. Now you're going to get tailgate. Okay. Back there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, here, people tailgate like you wouldn't believe. Like I said, it may look like I'm really close to that person from me, but I don't tailgate after all I've experienced with tailgaters. No. Okay, actually, it just wouldn't be something I do anyway. But anyway, so what, why was I on that? that down that line but let's just get to today what I want to do today is uh is about my edema my feet I want I want to find out information I want to get information directly from a healthcare provider what do you think she's gonna do this is what I want to see okay I want to see what is she gonna do is she gonna be like these other ones that I have seen that they want to focus on one they want to focus on not with the patient me wants to focus on and, and mainly what they want to focus on is going to make money, you know, make them money, make the practice money, what, however it works. It's all about the Benjamins, the money. You know, and I, I want to see if she's going to focus because I, I need that to focus on that because I had already decided, you know, if it's something I shouldn't be working because, I mean, my legs will swell up like you would not believe. Uh, I have edema, the the leg the bottom part of the legs the ankles and uh, the closest to the ankle and the top of the foot will just swell up really bad and uh, I want to see if she'll focus on that and t teach me you know educate me on it why does, does it do it and plus I had started taking a beta blocker um, probably right before this before it started happening so I don't, I don't know. I don't write those things down. And I was supposed to call the uh, pharmacist yesterday, but other things came up, and it was too late by the time I realized that. Yeah, okay, there was a car right next to me. I do not want that to be. Where in the world did it go to? <laughs> That's weird. But anyway, yeah. Now you get to pass me. There you go. I love those tailgaters. They're going to get far, far, far. <laughs> Yesterday I did a video and I, I, you know, I had been doing videos a, a different way until I got my mount a couple of days. And the new mount, this one is mounted on the uh, dashboard, not the windshield. But um, And right away I had one of those examples of you know, total jerks, you know, the heat. I, we, we turned at a light, okay? We turned left at a light. And he was behind me. And we both turned at the light. And I moved to go over to the, the, the lane. And the, 
left, to the right, we turned to the left, and I moved to go to a lane in the right when I could, once I turned. And he was beside, behind me, raced him to get around me. I'm like, you are an idiot. And I said, and I, on the video, I was saying, you watch now. I'll be waving at him as I pass him by at the light. It always happens. I cannot remember one time. And I don't know. And that, this is very common here. I cannot remember one time, seriously, that, that it didn't happen. Then I pass him and I wave at him as I pass by. Adam cracks up laughing, you know, that I do that. But I do. I do. Oh, what is this? God, some poor person has to be broken down. Sitting right there. That's that's not good. That's that's tough, tough, tough. I hope this lane turns after all that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay. I just let all of you miss all the cattle and all the ranches <laughs> out here. But I wanted to get through the um, the uh, roundabout. I did not know that we had so many roundabouts in here in this part of Texas until I started doing these food delivery uh, for health insurance. And uh, I was amazed how many, how many <clears throat> my voice is going out again. Anyway, I did go to the, uh, see the, the PA, she's a PA. And uh, it might be that, as she said, it could be that I would be put, need to be put on disability. Um, she, she just, I don't know. I, I find her better than anybody so far. <laughs> we'll put it that way. I'm not saying that she's the best. I'm just saying she's better than the other, the other people I've seen since, like I was talking about, since all that. Uh, so, we'll see. I mean, I, I had told Adam, he said, well, why didn't you try for a different one after I went there with that one time and she was an hour late. This time I think she was like 30 minutes late. And then she was watching her watch, so. Um, looking at her watch and she was rushing it again. I don't like that. But hey, I'm not just too keen on sitting in there as it is going through all this stuff again. Because there's quite often a mean girl uh, reaction from one of them. <laughs> Any one of them. But she did say that my I was improving quite a bit. I've improved quite a bit on my um, diabetes, so that was good. My A1C, yeah, quite a bit. It was, I knew it was gonna be a big change. So, and she didn't say the thing of nagging like some of them do, it's, it's a nag, it's not, it's, it, it's a mean girl response. I shouldn't call it a nagging. It's a mean girl response, but, you know, uh, but they, they would never say anything good. Mean girl, the mean girl response, and I've seen mean girl, mean boy, um, you know, adult mean girl. It's so much of just they, they find something, focus on it. This is my experience for years. I'm not saying all of them do, not at all. This is my experience with the ones I have seen, and, uh, and not all of them did it. But just to find something, to just like search for something to be mean about, and then they, they, they say it in such a horrible voice. And quite often, like, you know, I have to say, well, do you do know this, right? <laughs> of my uh, health condition. You do know this, right? And, uh, like, she didn't know. But she didn't say she didn't know. So, I probably stopped her from some of the stuff that usually follows it. Yeah. Usually, they, they, that's how they misdiagnose us, because they say a certain thing. I'm leaving all this out on purpose. So, anyway. I don't know how, Adam and I had a few things we were going to do today, but it was supposed to storm all day, and here it is, 11.18, and uh, it hasn't stormed yet, it was supposed to storm all morning, I figured I would be in it all morning, but I think it's supposed to start around noon, or so, but we had so many things to do, we wanted to get done finally, okay, what road am I on, <laughs> so, oh well, I'll take it, yeah, this is a good one. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Okay, let me just say a little more. I've, I've driven a bit and I called Adam. I just saw a, somebody who was tailgating somebody so freaking close. It wasn't me. It was somebody else. And that, that, that person was turning and the person behind him was turning. 
I mean, they were tailgating so close. I thought they, that one was pulling the other. Seriously. You know, like old-fashioned pulling one another. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I mean, come on now. You're going to tailgate somebody that close? Are you, are you insane? People who tailgate, are they insane? Have they really lost it? Now, I'm not trying to diagnose, and insanity is not a diagnose, but are they? Are they? You tailgating somebody, you are up right so close. And I know it might look like it because when I do my videos and everything, I don't tailgate. It's just a zo zoomed in zone. Zoom, zoomed in. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? They, they were so close to people. And you have to wonder about the mentality. You are about, how many tons does an automobile weigh? I don't know. I don't know how much it weighs. But you're that close in a big old machine like that and getting that close to somebody who could just slam on their brakes and need to all of a sudden and what, what, what would happen? Really. But it seems to be the thing more and more these days. And I've been driving 45 years and I'm going to say it's worse. And I used to do road trips like the lower for like 20 years. I did a, quite a few and even some after that and before that. Those 20 years. But my goodness. The, it's worsened more and more and more. Everybody, so many people, not everybody, strike the everybody. So many people think that they have to get there one second earlier. And like, I think I said earlier in this video that I wave at them as I pass them by. They're the ones that had to weave in and out of traffic to get ahead of everybody else. And then I wave at them, at them as I pass them by, by at the light, you know. And uh, Adam says he's, he can't say much. He says, I'm one of those. I'm like, are you insane? <laughs> I'd say, good possibility. No, really. I mean, anybody who does that, anybody, I don't care, you get him too. Think about what you're doing. What are you doing? Getting that close to somebody. There's no need. You're not going to get there much faster. Seriously, you're going to put people's lives in danger, your own and everybody else's, that, that could be involved. Wow. Wow. Such a shame that people think like that. Let me tailgate. I want to tailgate. I'm going to show them who's boss. Is that what your mind is? You know, anything that you come up with, but why are people doing this, is really going to be just fiction and something you just made up because you don't know it. You're not in their mind. But uh, you probably never see them again. But just the thought of somebody doing that, what, why would you think? Why would you think somebody's going to do this? Or my thing is, I've actually had people tailgate me, of course. But recently, and I'd look up, and they get so close, I could look up and see their faces, and it was like zombies. You know, just it's freaky. You know? The not not true zombies. You know, what I mean, the, the the just the stare. The uh, you know, they're human, but just the way they they're staring. They're they're not really there. You know, they're not there when they're there. A lot of people call that part of narcissism okay but yeah anyway I'm, I'm glad about my doctor's visit because I improved so much on my A1C and that was my goal and I, before this before the change in my um, my insulin I'm taking more I'm taking probably not quite twice as much but I'm taking more I'm taking it three times a day not so much in the morning and like, you know, like that. But uh, I had just, I t started taking it two years ago and I had not gotten any real advice on it at all. It was like, it's over the counter, you can take it. You know, it, it took me years before I'd started taking it. But, and then when I did, not really any instruction. Nope, you're too busy. Like, you know, like this one too, she's too busy. They're just too busy. Well, stop scheduling appointments so close together, period. How about real good health care? It's not about the money, not about how much you're going to make, but actually being with the patient, letting the patient speak. That has really bothered me is how little they want anybody to speak. And no, I don't speak as I do on my videos. This is where I get to do speaking. I actually get to speak. And it's, it's more organized in my head. <laughs> than it is on video but but in person I'm very well I hardly ever get to speak seriously 
Seriously, so, so many people just cut you off, man. Just, you know, they're, they're not going to allow anybody else to speak. They're so interested. They're, they think they're so interesting. The people I've run across, remember, one size doesn't fit all. It's not everybody. All of that. But my experience, you betcha. It is people who really think that their lives are so wonderful that I have to hear every bit and piece. I, can, I don't even get to talk about my really interesting life. <laughs> Serious. Nope. Can't do that. And I'm not joking. I'm not one to lie. I just cannot talk about some of it. So most of it. So I do the little stuff. These people, they have no life. It's the ones that think that they have the best life. Yeah, they really don't. Anyway, now I'm wrapping up.